Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel with Chopper Mir. Some more World of Tanks console for you today, and it is two videos in the Type 58. Recently, I lost my mind a little bit and decided to 3-mark this tank. And the 3-mark the wasn't that bad, I did it on 115 games. But on the 101st game, I hit 94.1%. Next game, top tier, should have smashed it. I should have got it in less than 105 battles. And after that, it was just a big downward spiral of terrible games. Um, but these two games here, I've handpicked are two really good games in the Type 58. Uh, and the main reason I picked this one is I recently did a video in the T95 E6 showing an aggressive position on this map. Um, that tank has a good turret and it has gun depression. And what I wanted to do was show this position in a tank with no gun depression and a terrible turret. Uh, and as you can see, again, you're always going to get snipers on that um, C8 area. On that hill, you're always going to get snipers. So, cover to this position, get them early spots, can net you some nice assisted damage. Again, gun depression in this tank is absolutely nothing. So, that is something you have to bear in mind when you are trying to use positions. It was something that really took me a while to adapt to on the three mark grind. Because the tiniest, tiniest little bump and your gun will not go down onto the target. Also, I did kind of choose this replay because pinning a cockroach against a wall and smashing it for all of his hit points is also very, very fun. So, you know, it had to go in there, didn't it? Now, there is a T-3485 in G6 in that uh, position, the counter position that I did mention in the previous video. He doesn't really use it to full effect. Again, not a lot of gun depression, so he decided he's going to move on. Which gives me a nice bit of freedom here to work this area, try and get shots up against that LTG on the uh, A line, AB line. There's also an IS up there as well. They were really concerning me because they were in really good positions. And the gun on this hasn't got the best pen. So as you can see, I have got 20 APCR loaded. And I did have to use them quite a bit, particularly in tier 8 games. I originally was running this with 10 APCR, but I was getting so many tier 10 games. I was really, really struggling to get the damage out. So I did have to up the premium account. Now, equipment wise on this, I am running Optics Rammer and a bit of a left field choice. Gun lane drive. Uh, you cannot fit vertical stabilizers to this. So gun lane drive, I thought, you know, I'll try it and it, it just worked for me. So I kept it on. In all honesty, you could I'd keep the optics and the rammer on it, but you could potentially run this with camo or vents. Uh, vents is a good choice, obviously, because you get 5% bonus on everything. Um, camo's not a bad choice, just because the way that this tank sort of plays, you want to be getting yourself into a good position. Um, and the camo can just help you out so much, particularly in them tier 6 games where everyone's a little bit equal, that camouflage can really help you out. But because I was playing this thing so aggressively, camo net didn't really make sense to me. Um, and I'm glad I had the optics on there because, honestly, spot assist is what helped me out so much. And there you see, there, that, that's what I'm talking about, this lack of gun depression. It's only a tiny, tiny little bit of a ridge. But it threw me right off the weak point of that KV-1S. Now we're just working this position here, trying to get shots into the IS, trying to get shots in the LTG. Um, unfortunately, my aim is just absolutely terrible. And then when I do get a shot on the IS, you know, I tend to be aiming at the side of the turret, something like that, and bouncing, as you can see there. He's perfectly aimed it at me, and the penetration on this tank is just not good enough to get through it. Now we're going to have a little bit of a move around. I think we've used this position um, to its full advantage. Really, the idea now is try and get some shots, as you can see, into anything that's trying to push up the other side. Again, you see it bounce on the side of the SU-152. It, it, there was a lot of bounces in this 3-mark grind. I'm not going to lie to you, a lot of bounces. Now up here we've got a broom bar and there is an IKV-65-2. Really, really need to be careful now. I am down to a one shot. I'm only on 49 hit points. A shot from anything will take me out. Luckily the Yag Panther, he takes out the broom bar. So that's one less tank to worry about on that ridge. It gives me a little bit more flexibility. And I just I return back just to see if the IS and the LTG presenting me with any shots. 
IS is coming back. I just fire too late and don't lead enough. Even with the um, extra shell velocity of the APCR, I just didn't aim that good enough. So I'm a little bit bored of them, and there's a lot of tanks over on this flank. So I'm, I'm going to just leave them. And I, I'm now kind of wondering what's around this corner. I know there's an IKV-65-2 there. Um, potentially the Dreadnought's down in F9 because I haven't seen it spotted all game. So... What I'm going to do is try and push around and see if I can take that IKV-65-2 out and then have a bit of a reach around, get down the H-line, uh, if there's any tanks that are left on the other flank. Now, the IKV-65-2 obviously anticipated the move, but fluffs it up a little bit, and I do manage to get round him. We take him down with a ram, and now there's just a KV-1 up here. He's on low hit points. All I've got to do is get one shot through. So we go for the engine deck. I hit a rock because my aim's so bad. Go for the engine deck again. Uh, misses because of the bloom. And now what I'm going to do is try and adjust into a side scrape position and see if I can get a shot on him. We bounce one. I go for his turret cheek and just stupidly sit in the same spot. Absolute brain fart moment there. The KV-1 takes me down. It wasn't going to take much for him to take me out. And I just kicked myself so hard I should not have sat in the exact same position. I should have moved, made him come to me. But we do end that 3,042 assisted and just shy of 2K direct damage. So, you know, near enough 5K combined. Not bad for a pretty poor tier six medium. There you go, ace tanker. Um, we also got the patrol duty as well uh, and it put me up to 92%. Yeah, not a bad game. 2,151 base XP. Pretty, pretty smart for, like I say, a pretty poor tier 6 medium. Now, the next game, as you can see, we're out on Prokhorovka. Again, a map that relies very much on gun depression. So, as much as I love Proc, I was genuinely dreading getting it whenever I was playing this tank. And I did this on a Sunday. It was a Sunday afternoon grind. Nice and relaxed. Sat down with a cup of tea. Yorkshire tea, obviously. Because it is the best. Um, and just sort of set to it. Sat down. Put my mind to it. And just thought, right, I'm, I'm really going to go for it this time. Now, we've got a couple of initial spots here. That T-78 in a very nice position there. Um... And we're just going to work this ridge a little bit. Now, no one's gone to the hill, so I've got to be I've got to be thinking they can get shots on me. I am within render for anything that's up there, and I am spotted. So what I'm going to do now is relocate over towards the other side, try and get myself out of render range for that hill, uh, and see if there's anything else I can spot up, see if we're getting shots into anything. We've got a VK-301D pushing down the line. Unfortunately, we don't aim the shot in properly, so we do actually miss. Uh, and we go for one of his turret. You see that delay there on the server? That took so long to register a hit. That's ridiculous. Uh, object 244 is crossing in the open. Um, but I think we've, we've stayed around a little bit too long there on that hill exposed. That T-78 gets a shot through us. T-78, remember, 240 alpha on that. Very nice little TD, actually. I've only played it a handful of times, but it, it kind of just plays like a really hard-hitting medium. Now, what we're going to do, while we're not spotted, we're going to try and abuse this M48. M40, M4... Three, E2, I'm sorry, it's a jumbo. I, I don't know what's going on there. It is Saturday night. I've not had a beer yet, but it certainly feels like it. Certainly feels like it. Now, we are spotted, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use this rock so that that uh, T-78 can't get shots on me. But again, look, that hill, I am within render range. There's nothing gone spotting up there. We try and get one into the bush where he is. We managed to hit him blind. He stays there for a little bit, and we go for another shot, but... Do you know what? I'm trading when I don't need to be trading. I can't see him. He could be anywhere. We get spotted again. We go for another little uh, sneaky shot, but he's definitely moved now. And I think it's time for us to try and relocate a little bit. So you one p in the open. I could do with taking him out of the game. There we go. We shut him down, and I am, again, exposing myself to the hill and exposing myself to the T-78. These are big no-nos when it comes to Prokhorovka. Really, you want to be pushing sort of the three-line area. This centre ridge is absolutely 100% the most vital part of this map. You need to be pushing this area, without a doubt. Um, but you need to be bearing in mind that you are, when you are this far over, 
you are susceptible to shots from the hill, particularly if it's uncontested like it is right now. Now, a Black Prince, honestly, Black Princes were an absolute nightmare for me during this grind because they were everywhere. And not just the Black Prince, but the A43, you know, the free one that they've been giving away, uh, gave away on the season pass. They've been everywhere and they've been an absolute hell for this tank because the slightest angle and nothing is going through. So um, it, it kind of gave me a little bit of a respect for the A43 uh, Black Prince, the, the premium Black Prince. <sighs> Bouncing like mad on this IS. You know, we are going for as close an angle as we can make uh, with the APCR and we are really struggling to get through this thing and it was winding me up. And, and this was, again, one of the big issues with 3Mark in this tank is it's it's got so many flaws and it really has got a lot of flaws particularly the person that was driving it you know he was he was definitely flawed um, <laughs> but you know we're, we're just sort of staying in this position and we're just seeing if we can get shots on anything right now they have got two mediums trying to push around the back of us actually they are going to start flanking us I do notice this on the minimap and it is time to start turning our, our attention backwards go for a shot on the A44 bounce yet again uh, now he's completely side on Take his tracks off. Can we get the kill shot? No, we do get beaten to it by a 302D. Again, that IS is up there. I don't know what else is up there. I'm getting spotted, and I've, I've got to be really wary. I've only got 249 hit points. You know, if he's got the big 122, that thing slaps hard. You know, that's game over for me. But I really want to get this T78 out of the game. This guy is in a really good position really good position and it's it's going to be starting to cause me a bit of a mischief now keep an eye out on this jumbo hopefully he's going to push around uh, and try and get shots on our heavy would really be nice if he would push but he is against the tiger 131 so i kind of don't blame him for staying where he is ah sneaky setter pushes around the back now we have got the ap loaded you know it is a setter we don't really need apcr and i'm trying to use them sparingly because the there is still that IS, and there are other Tier 7 tanks still in the game. Um, but this setter, I mean, just he's just giving me all of his hit points. Absolutely beautiful. What a friendly player. It puts us up to 2,000 damage, and we're only at 582 assists, but the 2,000 damage is enough for us to uh, go up and, and not drop down on the 3 mark. Um, so I'm pretty happy right now. You know, we're in a, a good situation in terms of, of the mark progress. So, right now, I've, I've kind of had a good game. I've done enough. I do want to get more, though. You know, I really, now I know that I'm safe. Now it's time to start making some risks and some uh, gambling sort of plays. Uh, because we can. We, we know that we banked that damage. We know we're not going to drop down. So, it's, it's, it's really just time to get a little bit more aggressive and try and get them last shots of damage in there. Uh, just to try and help the, the grade up. Take down the 45 TP, and now that leaves us this side of the map completely free to charge around and flank. I know the T78 is on the railway line. I know that there's a heavy down there as well. So right now, it's just trying to spot them up. This is where the camo net... That's not a camo net anymore, is it? But the, the camo equipment, this is where it could come in sort of quite handy for you. Uh, because you can, there's so many bushes here that you could use. Um, just to try and keep that detection level down. So you can try and spot tracers on the T78, you know, anything that's camped up. Try and look for tracers whilst keeping the sixth scent off. Now, it's been a fairly close match, to be honest. It is 5-3. It, it's not been a bad game. Finally take him down. God, that guy was the bane of my existence there. And this is it. Now, what we're going to do is just kind of relocate a little bit. Try and pop up in a different position. Yes, he knows that I'm coming this way, but he doesn't quite know where I'm going to be. Um, so we're just going to move forward a bit, move towards these bushes. And unfortunately, he is running away, which is very, very disappointing, really. Uh, it could have been nice to get a couple more shots of damage on him. Uh, but we're just going to go and see where this last TD is. This is a Hellcat. And there he is. There he is. Now, can we get a nice shot into him? Yes, we can. I'm just trying to get as many shots of damage into this guy as possible. Try and rack up that third mark. And there we go. That is prop with no gun depression. Yeah, it's pretty awful. 
as, as many of you could see. It is pretty awful. Walk out though, 2,543 damage, just shy of 900 assists. As you can see, these aren't quite in order. Uh, this is one of the first games after getting the second mark. Uh, but we do walk away with the ace tanker. And uh, if I ever flick to the scoreboard, we can see that I was top of the team. <laughs> I'm really bad for this. I'm really bad for just... i tell you why Why this took so long. What was happening was I was writing it down on a little whiteboard, um, <laughs> seeing where I was at damage standing-wise. And there you go, guys. That is the Type 58 3 marked. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a like. If you didn't, please dislike. If you want to see more of this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel or ring the bell. Uh, but until next time, guys, have fun. Enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next video.